So next is the outputs and the multi-view, which is probably the more important thing here. Because we don't have any blends or any weird outputs, and all of our pixel spaces just kind of line up. You can see um, we got this pixel space here for projection. It's just going straight to output one. Uh, it also says it's going to output four. And that was just me messing around. We're going to change that in a second. So when you're using output one and two for screens one and two, that's why they're highlighted like that. And output three, there's nothing going to it. It's not highlighted. So we maybe you would think, oh, we can use three as our multi-view. Well, click on three and the properties show. Multi-viewer is only available on the card's fourth port. So let's go to four. Click multi-viewer and click save. In order to see anything on our multi-viewer, we do have to make sure, since this is our configuration with the little wrench, make sure that any of these that might be in the configure uh, setting are exited from that. And you can be extra sure just by entering configuration and then exiting in case there was something else that might be hanging in the system. So go to view and click on multi-viewer setup. And just double check uh, output four, you know, and let's say you had a technical director at another table and he needed a copy of your multi-view. You could go down here to say 16 or something. And we can go ahead and set that as another multi-view. Save it. And so we've got two outputs for now set for multi-views. And from here, you can kind of set things up exactly how you want it. You have a lot of freedom. I'm going to make all program right up here at the top. There we go. It's fully wide up at the top. And everything in the pixel space, all of this, will just be showing through all program. And you'll notice that the uh, there's only so many resources in the spider, so you have some limitations to what you can do per multi-view. So down here, I can either do all program and all preview, which is sort of like A, B kind of setup. There we go. And we have no more resources on this multi-view for anything else. You can't see your individual sources uh, inputs, I should say, through the program preview method. So what do you do? Well, having program preview is really handy. You could either add a second multi-view to, let's say, number eight, mode multi-view. Now, oh, I forgot to save. Now I've got output eight, and let's say you wanted all program on the top again, but you wanted your inputs down here. We've only got four inputs. Let's just drag them out and highlight them. You hold control and go input one, click input two, input three, input four. We've got some ways to set this up. You can align them all to the left, which doesn't quite do what we want. Uh, you could size them to the display width. No, that's not quite what we want either. What we want to do is take this little stacking tool, stack horizontally. Oh, but it's a little big. There we go. So we stacked it horizontally and then we squished it down so that the full selection was the size of the display width. And now on your multi-viewer, you would see to whatever monitor is connected to output eight, all program would be on the top and you would have your four inputs, input one, two, three, and four on the bottom. The other thing that you can do instead, if you wanted some more versatility, is, or maybe you didn't have space for two monitors. You could take this multi-view four, output four, add a source, and send that output straight to an input. Maybe input five is HDMI. And we could say program preview. I think it might not like this uh, slash spider internal create and configure. Program and preview. Now, in our multi viewer setup for output eight, instead of doing all program, we could use input five. 
And that would show our program and our preview. Whoa, that's too big. Let's downsize that. And that's kind of squished. What we could do is delete that. Go away. There we go. Bring it out. Just go like that. Come on. Align, align. Yes. You know, it's hard to show with example what the multi-view has, because I don't have the hardware on me. I'm just sitting at home. These four bring down this one I could size up a little bigger. You have all your programs, all your previews, and your inputs one, two, three, and four. That way you've got program and preview. And it's just uh you know looping that signal around to give you a little more versatility. Uh there's a tiny bit of delay when you do this, but it should be negligible for the applications of what we're doing. Of course, there are some other settings we can do in here. Uh, we could go to the configure like the test pattern generator. Uh, we talked about that with the sources. So if you just wanted to send a test out of one output, now you could also separately send a test pattern out of one pixel space. So the output, let's say you were blending, the output would just do one projector, whereas the pixel space would do a test across the whole blend. And so that that perfectly describes kind of the difference between a pixel space and an output, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, I hope that that answers any questions about outputs.